On va après le partir. Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own. I have this camera and you watching. So grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. I traveled from Barcelona to Paris on a plane. I enjoyed one night in a spacious youth hostel. I found my sister also traveling in Paris, where we walked around sightseeing. We then had two nights in a fancy Parisian hotel, enjoying really special memories with my step-grandma, including this amazing sunset walking towards the Louvre and over the River Seine. It was a Paris magic we all think about. Hello friends, from day four of Paris, I kind of left you not really informed of what I've been up to the last few days. And that's because I was with family, which was such a nice change to be not solo traveling and hanging out with people. And now we are headed to meet a friend for lunch. I have been spoiled the last two days staying at a hotel. And it's been really nice to be with people, but it's also reminded me that I do enjoy solo travel. And traveling with people is an added layer of making sure that both parties are happy or multiple people are happy. We have decided to stay in Paris for two more nights, which we booked this morning. Thankfully, something was available. But first, we're gonna explore the streets. Yesterday, we got to go on an amazing free tour. Um, I also had to buy new sunglasses because I literally don't know. I know where I took them out at the hostel when I first arrived to Paris, and then when I went to this hotel, I don't know where they are. So, 15 euros later, we got some blingy sunglasses. We also walked on Champ de Elise, which is a very like oh, I suppose it used to be the high fashion district, but I feel like now it's quite all the major chains Zara fitness store Sephora just every store there is a house of Dior and Louis Vuitton which was really exciting to see and then later in the evening we went for a dinner cruise joining my sister and her boyfriend so that was really fun to jump on yeah now we're by another museum here that's cost 14 euros but it's a horse and rider exhibition but I think for now we'll just keep walking Finished having lunch with my friend, which was really good. We had galettes, which are like square buckwheat crepes. The cool thing about that is there's no egg used in, in them or milk, so they're naturally already a vegan item. But I got the vegan option, which was red onion, some like carrot, um, some kind of vegan sour cream, I guess you could call it, or like creme fraiche really yummy some avocado and just just enough sauce with a cute little salad and a cider unfortunately no video or photo because i demolished it now we're just exploring the area it has turned out to be a lovely day and this neighborhood is nice and just a little bit more quiet less touristy so we're gonna go explore the park and then maybe hit a coffee shop friends it is day something of me being in Paris I believe it's day five or six last night we stayed in a hostel in the Gentilly area and I'll link it below in my description um, I decided to stay at this hostel just because it was a little bit cheaper although it's outside of that zone one of the Paris city center um, it's super accessible by transit still and it was about 20 euros cheaper than every other hostel in the city last night Unfortunately got hit on by a very drunk person. Wasn't really sure what was going on, if there was a language barrier, if they were intoxicated or high. 
that's the first like negative encounter I've come across and I feel like I handled it myself and just said I don't think that we should talk anymore and you should leave. <laughs> that's basically how it went. Well they asked for my phone number and I said I'm not giving it out so there was nothing left to be talked about. Yeah. Um, I've been working all morning and I know this sounds so counter to travel, but it has felt so nice to just be on my computer and feel productive and like I have purpose again. I know the reason why I'm traveling is just to find out more about myself, but sometimes I get really lost of like, where should I be? What should I be doing? So it's been awesome to just work and plug a few hours in this morning. So now we're gonna go find lunch. It's about 35 minute walk away. It's back into the Paris City Central. It's a vegetarian restaurant and I'm really excited to have some good food. So I hope you'll come along with me. Let's go. Maybe the restaurant's closed. It's really hard to tell. There's people inside, but the door doesn't open. And the sign when I Google translated it said it's open between, and that's it. And I just get frustrated with these things because I try and really pre-plan before I go out and walk. And also I can like visibly see the pollen in the air. It is firing my allergies and I'm already taking allergy medicine every day. I'm just like sneezing and stuffy in my eyes. I think wearing sunglasses is helping me because the pollen's not hitting my eyes. But anyway, I'm very hungry and now I'm just like tempted to get a baguette and cheese and just screw the cool plan of eating at an awesome vegetarian restaurant. What to do? Do you realize how, <laughs> you wanna see yourself in the mirror? Here's my camera. I just needed to push it. I'm currently sitting in Cemetery Mont Montparnasse. Montparnasse. We all know my pronunciation is not 100%. Really super gorgeous with the trees. But the craziest thing is a white butterfly just flew past me. And in my family, we always say when we see a white butterfly, it's my grandpa visiting. So I just got the craziest goosebumps. And just help me know I think I'm in the right place and like the right journey that I'm on. So thank you, Papa. I should show you this pretty epic hostel room. You come in the front door and this is a room with five beds, but it's pretty cool because they've set it up kind of as this jungle gym system. So obviously there's bed number one. Those are like full mattresses, but they're kind of built into the ground, but it's nice because you have lots of space to like put a bag, your eyeglasses, and then you have a light, plugs, USB. This is my bed. I've made it. Yeah, you've got a nice little basket to put things and then you have a regular plug, USB, and a light. There's hooks as well, two nice bright lights that have really good blackout curtains for nighttime and then these awesome storage cupboards, which mine, you can see, fits literally everything. It's a little messy and it's hard to see because it's all black. Suitcase, extra tote bag, backpack, toiletries and vest. Hello. It's nice because you actually got space. Look how condensed. And then we have a shower room, which I haven't used yet. It's good because it has two sinks so two people can brush their teeth at night. And then you got the bathroom. And that is it. My friend. 
This is the fit of the day. The same clothes as always. <laughs> On the fly Lululemon pants, Joe Fresh sneakers that are gonna go anytime I'm now. An old kind of linen blouse. I've got a NYX tank top underneath and then my Eddie Bauer puffer because it's still kind of chilly outside. Here's the hallway. It's kind of trippy. But they have a really cool graffiti artist they've included throughout the building.